So I think the plan is to keep the car for another day. So we're just taking it easy, uh, getting going this morning. Um, bar is already getting going this morning. It's only like not even nine o'clock, just after eight. So uh, I'm gonna cook up some breakfast, uh, finish up most of the food that we got, and uh, yeah, make sure that the, the car company knows that we're keeping the car. Did they use it? Your mother does? So we've decided to change our plans, keep the car for an extra day, and since uh, um, Eric and Yannick and uh, Tessa were having a hard time uh, finding a place to stay in Durban, uh, we've decided to stay here for an extra day. So um, I just discovered that they have a really cool uh, kind of yoga space um, just behind me um, over in there. Uh, so might uh, just chill for the day. and. Um, do some yoga and check out the beach and and uh, see what else is is around so here. This place is really cool. All the rooms are spread out. You got ones way up in the trees and ones that are made of glass. And we're in kind of like a little cabin called Moonshine. Uh, but because we're staying an extra day, we got moved there from the dorm uh, because they had too many people. Uh, there's the, the hot tub, oh, which they've drained, which is probably a good thing. Um, we have to move back to the dorm because um, it's less expensive. Uh, There's the pool here at the uh, Mantis and Moon. Uh, be maybe uh, spend some time here later this afternoon. The bars up there. Our rooms are back in the jungle, uh, kind of beyond those. Uh, three three kilometers from the Zipan offices, it's a kilometer to the suspension bridge, right. and then sort of about two on Mankadu, and then through. And we've, all right, so this is the Mantis and Moon Hotel. Yeah, it's just outside of Mankadu, so we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. Yeah, we're going to stay here Getting all harnessed up. back from the zip lining uh, that was a lot of fun really cool I uh, totally didn't uh, plan to do that today but uh, yeah that's uh, the beauty of not planning everything um, by the hour you just end up doing some stuff unexpectedly um, it was really cool uh, the other couple that was uh, doing it with me uh, they, were, they were a lot of fun uh, chatting with them uh, along the way all right so I'm halfway across this bridge and it's probably one of the sketchiest suspension bridges I've ever been on. Um, off to the, the left, you got kind of the side of the cliff, lots of trees, um, and there's uh, the gorge. Uh, stunning view down below, um, but it's a little bit rickety going across this. Alright, we got uh, a little lookout overhang. It's just a, about a 5 inch steel beam. It's pretty shaky. This is much scarier than the suspension bridge, but what a view off to the side. Down the other end of the, the gorge. Look how wobbly this thing is. It's shaking. Definitely think that lookout was way scarier than the suspension bridge and there's nothing out in front of you um, so the bridge was one way you got to take the path back up and then uh, should catch up with the others um, so I don't have to walk all the way back to um, the entrance gate but just had some uh, great little conversation with some uh, 
South African folks, uh, about comrades. And it seems like everywhere you go, everything you do, you end up talking to people. And it's always an interesting conversation when people are from different places. Uh, always a lot of questions asked uh, by both sides. Got uh, some more wildlife just outside the car there. Um, I think we've got. Uh, what are what are those, Eric? Um, I, I think they're oryx, but oryx possibly. We're uh, looking into it. So we've got some more animals this. here. We've got a wildebeest who was making some dust a moment ago. Um, some more of those guys, and then over on the other side, we have impala. Paula and some zebras further down um, in the distance. Oh, got some fighters here. Let's zoom in a little. Oh, catching some action. larger when it walks. So we we're gonna have some fish and chips for dinner and there was uh, the best fish and chips in the whole southern coast um, on the way back uh, to our hostel but uh, we stopped by this place uh, Fifi's uh, fresh fish and chips um, uh, just because we saw it off the road so we stopped and then they said that there's a fish and chips place across the road we had to get gas as well so we went in this great big circle chasing our tail um, checked out the other one across the road the uh, one that's supposed to be the best is too far away and we didn't want to go there have them be closed and then come back and then have this place be closed so we ended up coming back to Fifi's so hopefully someone gets some some fish and, and chips uh, and it should be delicious finally the fish and chips you don't want to be in the video no. so we had our fish and chips it was uh, quite delicious but I think uh, the fish and chips earlier in the week was maybe uh, a little bit better but uh, uh, on the way home, or the way back to our uh, hostel, tensions were running a little bit high. Maybe we're at the end of our trip and you know, things are coming out, but uh, Eric and Tessa definitely a bit like oil and water, fire and ice, so um, Yannick and I are just going to kind of chill, relax for the night, and uh, make the best of, of what I think has been a, a really fantastic uh, week uh, with lots of uh, excitement from from all all angles. So, um, anything you'd like to add, Yannick? Mm, it was a very interesting week. <laughs> there you go. We we are very different, and, and yeah, it was a pleasure to to travel with you. Oh, thanks. Likewise.